Hi everybody! Welcome and thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Tani and I'm an independent author and somebody who just really loves great stories. So on this channel I talk about writing, books I've enjoyed, and lessons I've learned on my publishing journey. One of the skills that I've picked up as an indie author is book formatting, and that is something that I've actually come to really enjoy, especially for print books. And it's something that, honestly, I think I've gotten pretty good at over the years. I will pop up some images on the screen so you can see what some of my books look like on the inside. I have done the print formatting myself for all of these books, and I plan to continue doing that for any books that I self-publish in the future. I've gotten several questions and comments about my book formatting, and people are usually pretty surprised to learn that I do my formatting in Microsoft Word. I realize that Microsoft Word is not the best formatting software out there, but it is something that a lot of writers have access to already, and you can actually do a lot with it if you know how to. In this video series, I am sharing some tips and tricks that I've learned that hopefully you can use to format your own books if you decide that you want to do that as well. Today I am going to show you guys how to insert your page numbers and also the headers and footers if you want to put like your title or your author name up there at the top. Some books will do that and so I'll show you guys how I do that in Microsoft Word. So we have our pirate book pulled up here and we're going to go ahead and just go down to the bottom of this first page. And if we double click, then that will pull up the footers. I'm going to put the page numbers at the bottom of the page and it's centered right now, which is fine. I think we will actually try to put them on the outside of the page, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. It popped open this header and footer tab, which is exactly where we want to be. And we want to go over here to page numbers. I'm going to just go ahead and choose current position. And I'm just going to pick this plain number right here. So as you can see, when I did that, it popped up page number 11, which this should be page number one because it's the first page of the book. But Microsoft Word will automatically just pull from everything that is before all of this. And so that's why it's giving us page 11, because it is page 11 of the document, but we want it to start on page one. So if we highlight this and we go into page number again and choose format page number, we want it to start at page one. And we don't want it to continue from the previous section, at least not with this first page. We just want it to start a new section. This is where the book is starting. We want that to start on page one. So we're going to hit OK, and then it went ahead and it changed that to page one. I also would like this to be a different font. I want it to be, we'll just use Garamond since that's what we've been using, and I want it to be a little bigger. And like I said before, I want it to go ahead and be on that outside page. So we're going to put it over there on the outside edge. The other thing that you have to pay attention to is making sure that it starts far enough from the bottom that it's not going to get chopped off when the book prints. And so if we go back over to KDP, to that section at the bottom that shows our margins, we're looking at this outside margins with bleed because that is an outside margin there along the bottom and it's a book that has bleed and it needs to be at least 0.375 inches from the bottom of the page. So I'm going to go back to my document and we can see that we have 0.38, which is going to be fine. It's not going to get chopped off and that'll be great. I can make it a little bigger as well. We can go ahead and do a 0.4 and that just bumps it up a little bit so that it, you know, for sure we don't have any issues with that. Mostly you just want to make sure that that's consistent all the way through the document. So you'll want to be checking that and making sure that that looks right. Now, because we have this box checked right here and we do want that to be checked this different odd and even pages it only has a page number on page one right now and it doesn't have one on page two we also have it set up to be a different first page which means we don't even have a page three down here we should have page three but because that first page is different remember because of the chapter headers that we did last time it's not pulling the page number all the way down so we are going to have to go ahead and format the next two pages and then we should be good to go. So on this even page right here, we want to go ahead and insert the page number again, just in the current position, and it put it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure the formatting is correct. Again, I want this to be Garamond, and I want it to be, I can't remember what size we had, 11. So I'm going to go ahead and bump that up a little bit. 
And then in the headers and footers again, I'm just going to make sure the footer is still 0.4 inches from the bottom. So that's perfect. And it is on the left side of the page, which is exactly where I want it. Because if you think about it, when you open it, I do want it on that outside edge of the page for every single page. So now I'm going to go back down to page three. So as you can see, the even pages now have all populated with the page number. So we have four and then we have six and eight over here, which is great. So I just have to go and do three right here. I'm going to put that page number, the current position, a plain number. We're going to go ahead and make sure the formatting is correct. And we're going to bump it again to the right side and it's 0.4 inches from the bottom. So we're good to go with that. And now we have page numbers on five and seven as well, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. If we come down here, we can also see that the page numbers have carried over through the rest of the document. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sometimes I've had issues where that hasn't been the case and the page number hasn't carried over. And usually that's because one of these pieces is missing. We either don't have it linked to the previous section or maybe we have one of these boxes unchecked, different first page, different odd and even pages. We just want to make sure that all of those are checked so that it will carry through um, to the rest of the document. The other thing that you want to check is if we go down here to the bottom where we have all of our back matter, sometimes those page numbers will carry over here too. Um, the reason that they're not in my document is because I have this unchecked. So when you're starting a new section that is not related to the book itself, like the front matter or the back matter, you do not want that link to previous button checked because if we check that, then it will go ahead and it will carry the page numbers through to the bottom. And so that is not what we want. We don't want page numbers on those back matter sections. So we want to leave that box unchecked. We'll go back up here to our book because now that we have the footers formatted with the page number. We want to go ahead and format the headers as well to show the author name or the title or something like that. So we don't want that to happen on the first page. We don't want anything on the first page except that chapter title. But if we go over here to the even page headers for the sections, maybe we want to put the author name right here. And then you can format that however you like. I'm going to go ahead and play around with a few things here and get it looking how I want it. So as you can see on every even page, we have the author name and that carries through to chapter two and chapter three as well. If I go back up here, I'm going to go ahead and put the book title and the font I don't think is correct on that. So we'll go ahead and change that so that it matches everything else. And I want it to be size 11 and I want those small caps. Again, this book of the pirates is a little too big. We're going to bring it back down to 10. Now that is all consistent throughout the headers and footers of the book. Another thing that can be kind of fun with the page numbers is just to put like a little symbol or something. Sometimes I like to put little boxes or circles or just something to add like a extra little visual to it. So maybe we'll just put this arrow right here and I actually want that to be pointing this way and maybe it needs a space in between. And then on the first pages, we'll put the opposite pointing arrow. And again, um, the first page is not going to change. So we have to go down to page three as well and put it there. And now we have these fun little arrows on all of our pages. Um, you can put whatever you want or you can just leave them blank. You can also go ahead and put the page numbers in the center. If you would rather have them centered, you just move them over. And then again, once you click out of the headers and footers, the headers and footers change back to that light gray color. But if we go ahead and print that, you can see that they're black and they will actually print in that darker black color just because they're the headers and footers. They do show up that gray just to show what part of the document that you're working on. And so it looks like we are all good to go with that. If you look at the description box down below, I have linked a sample word document that you can download and play around with some of this formatting yourself. 
It's a document that has already been formatted. It looks just like the one that I just showed you in the video. If this video was useful to you, please hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or to let me know if there's other things that you want me to cover in this video series. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as I post more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.